Hello guys and welcome back to new Applied Analogistics tutorial. And in this episode we want to take a look how we can fully automate it, Zeta Squad's crystal production um, if we want to uh, produce some flawed budding Zeta Squad's completely automatically. And um, we already have a sub-network here uh, which is connected to our main network. And um, this um, sub-network will give us some um, Zeta Squad's crystals. Uh, and um, you can um, take a look at the description for the playlist and there you can see how this uh, subnetwork is working. And we have also created another subnetwork here. And um, we have a pattern pro provider here. And our main network is only connected with this uh, Fluix Amiga Lice cable to this pattern provider. Okay. And we have installed here a uh, one quartz fiber cable. And this quartz fiber cable will give this blue ME smart cable some energy. Only energy, no data, nothing more. Okay. And um, this sub network here, you can see it has um, seven of eight channels, um, is, um, has one ME interface, one ME storage bus, and on this side we have one formation plane and um, four annihilation plane. And I will explain later why I use it or annihilation planes in this case. Okay, and um, that means we have our subnetwork here. If we take a look, we have um, an, our int ME interface here. Nothing is configured here and it's only just for looking. And we have a storage bus. And in the storage bus is flawed booting set of quads um, configured. That means our subnetwork can only um, put in a flawed booting set of quads. So if we put in some dirt, nothing happens. So that means if we use, for example, we will put um, in some charged Zetos Quartz crystals um, in combination with our normal Zetos Quartz block, for example, nothing will happen. And that's um, what we want to do. Nothing will happen here, okay? And if, if you can see if it will connect to flawed booting, um, okay, it's, it's no, it wasn't enough. Um, it wasn't enough charged cells quartz crystal, and um, we need a three, one, two, three, and one and set of quartz block. Um, and if these uh, two blocks connect, uh, it will go to our network, okay? So, um, we have a formation plane here and um, in the formation plane is configured one charged set of squads and one set of squads a block and um, the block placement is configured as blocks will be dropped as item. And we have installed a water source and that means our charged set of squads and our set of squads block will drop as item through the um, formation plane. And um, that's um, very good. And uh, these annihilation planes will call, collect uh, our flawed parting set of squads. Okay. And if we go to our um, pattern provider as first, we can see that we have installed one pattern. That means we will get out of one set of squads block and three charged set of squads crystal, one flawed booting set of squads. Okay, and if we we can um, do this pattern in our pattern terminal like this, mm, you can see that that's fine in this case, and we can use our crafting terminal now to um, to produce some flawed um, booting cellus quartz. For example, five. That's enough. Okay, and we can see we dropped out uh, these um, these items, and you can see uh, we created some flawed booting cellus quartz. And um, now I will uh, explain you why I use four annihilation planes. If you only use one annihilation plane, um, it could be that um, the range of your annihilation plane isn't that much and you have the, the drops here and um, um, your annihilation plane can't reach your items, your flawed booting set of squads. Um, that's, um, that was my problem in my case. And um, so I... Um, decided to use four annihilation planes. You can also set up a, a block um, on top of, for example, a glass block or something else um, like this. If you wanted to, um, to have a more security that um, you're ready. And um, yeah, that's how you can fully automate your um, your Zetas Quartz Crystal production. That means you will um, pro pro um, produce some flawed budding Zetas Quartz 
And this flawed bar budding in saddle squads will go straight to this chest here. So you have um you you had to make sure that this sub network always have enough floor floor booting saddle squads. Um that's all you need to know. Thanks for watching and bye.